I dropped it. This is the first time I've ever dropped my lens. We got some scratches and dents there, and then right there as well. When I do repetitive jobs, I end up getting bored and then getting lazy and then the performance of my work suffers. So I'm always trying to do experiments to make me try new things, keep my brain engaged. Uh, so this time, Freewell gave me this, uh, I gotta clean this off, it gave me this uh, filter which has circular polarizer and variable ND. So what I'm gonna do is try to kill one of the problems I've been having for a long time, which is the reflection or the refraction off of the fence and the skin of the fighters. So we have a circular polarizer on here. And if I turn it, take a look at the ground and the waveform, it will darken. So circular polarizer is on, minimum setting, max setting. So killing that reflection is an awesome addition to the image. It changes it, get more detail out of the highlights. So it lowers the exposure a bit, which is good because I want the detail that's in that high, high exposure. One of the people that I've met over the last year is Joe Carably. He is a Jacksonville based DP and he is here for the night just to cover a fighter that is part of the docuseries. You've seen me vlog about it, talk about it, and he is following that character. I'm pretty sure red is his preferred system. He uses the Sigma zooms. I'm curious what he thinks of the Nikon acquisition, but he's using that Sigma 50 to 100 uh, cine zoom for the action, for the fighting. Then when we switch into the ring, when they are saying who's gonna win, I saw him throw on this Leica R. I'm not, not sure what focal length it was. Maybe you guys can tell. But it's just cool to have that forethought of, I want this look for this scene, and then I want this look for this scene. For me, I just, I want it all on Zoom, just to make it as easy as possible. I need help. I'm assuming this feature exists, because it's in a lot of other cameras. But I want to tune my camera to have a certain set of settings. I know you can do that in, you know, FX3, Alpha Series, you have custom preset one, two, three, and I want to have the same thing for my FX6. So when I go to this job, I know, put it into this mode, all the resolution, frame rates, color space, everything is timed for that. How do I save that to my camera? I need to share this story with you guys. So a couple months ago, I did a consultation call with Renee. He's a filmmaker out of San Diego. And we went through his whole situation. I gave him the suggestions that I had. And a couple months later, this is the email I get back. As per your feedback during our call, I streamlined my website, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, in the sense that I keep personal and business related content separate. So that was something that we needed to delineate. He applied to be a PA in the camera department for this film just to get a foot in, even though he operates at a higher level and he was denied. So he did not get that job. But then he thought of the thing that I like to say a lot, action causes action. That's the whole thing with this YouTube channel. The more action I put out there, the more action I get back. So he said, um, took a deep breath, swallowed my pride, and offered to come work for, for, for free with the, with the intention to tell them that I'm trying to prove myself as a valuable asset on set hoping to climb the ladder for any future project. So free work, right? No one likes to do that. Long story short, I got accepted for the free unpaid position. And then seven days later, I got a phone call saying, would you be willing to do a few days of behind the scenes coverage? Paid position after the director checked out his website. So he needed to have those pieces in place too. Two days ago, I received another phone call from the producer saying that his his B-cam operator had to pull out and I was offered his job. Three weeks paid with all the bells and whistles. I'm super thrilled. Action causes action. I'll keep pushing forward, Renee. So I love to hear that. I get these messages every now and then. Um, I love doing these consultation calls. If you guys want a consultation call, email me, link in the description, I can put you on the calendar. 
but not only is it um, am I trying to provide value to you guys, it's super helpful for me to be able to see what is happening all around the country. I've had international callers as well. Um, and then what we can collectively do to go further. Um, you know, I wouldn't always recommend doing free work. He took that upon himself. Sometimes it works out. And in this case, the goal was to get a connection with someone who has paying potential, hiring potential, and it worked. There's just so many good YouTube vlogs coming out. I love all of them. So many different parts of the world, different types of gigs. Ironically, I ordered this the day that David Moorfield released his video about the perfect monitor bracket. And that so the reason I wear Lululemon exclusively is because it's so hot in Florida and uh, this wicks away the sweat and the smell, but also if you bring them clothing that has any defects, any pilling on the fibers, you can just go right back in and they exchange it for free. So this is a $78 t-shirt and I just gave them one that I actually bought from a, like a discount store, a wholesale store. They just gave me a brand new one. This is actually horrible. I just finished my YouTube video and I also have to pack for that West Palm Beach trip and go through rentals and I bunch of bought a new bought a bunch of new things. So let me go through some of these things that I actually bought from B&H minus the lens rentals for this weekend because uh, I got some really nice things that I've been waiting for. This is the last year I'm going to be doing taxes manually where I'm using folders with my own categories and counting out all the expenses. I'm on QuickBooks now, so next year should be much more automated, but I need to go through and see exactly how much I spent this year on gear. So when you add up all that and everything that I purchased last year, it comes out to that, which is much, much, cheaper than the previous year because the previous year i bought the fx6 and tons of accessories for it so six thousand for camera equipment in one year is actually pretty pretty tame here's a great little cheat code so i like to watch ufc on espn i was about to go to it and then i remembered oh yeah the account that i was using is no longer active i can't borrow it anymore so i have to buy it but i don't want to buy it and then I remembered the Amex Platinum credit card that I have, the one that I, I always talk about, gives you $240 worth of entertainment credit for free. So now I'm gonna get Disney Plus, ESPN, and Hulu. I never watch Hulu. And they're just gonna pay for it. It goes onto the statement, it gets registered because I enrolled in it, and then it gets deducted. It's completely free. So the card is not free, right? It's it's hefty annual fee of 700 bucks, but I've already used $1,500 worth of credits in the first year. So it's, it's just nice because I mainly got it for the airport lounge access since I travel so much, but there's so many little bells and whistles and things that come with it. Um, of course, the affiliate code, whatever, will be in the description. You get your sign-on bonus. That's what I got. I had to, you know, get 80,000 points. It might be up to 150 now. I don't know. But if you're if you're a heavy traveler or you want all these perks, it, it was the perfect fit for me once I got over the, the obstacle of paying $700 a year for a credit card. But I'm going to keep showing these perks because there's so many more that I, I haven't even used <clears throat> um, that are still like, actually, no, I just got my TSA, no, my, my global entry renewed for the next five years, a hundred bucks done, taken care of. It's like the card that keeps on giving.